Good morning. And where is Mr. Jam today? We are in Japan. You can tell because everything is cute in Japan, including the public utility vehicles like this bus. Oh, and there's the breakfast, of course. I mean, that could only be a Japanese breakfast, couldn't it? Mmm, yummy. Some of the food, though, was a bit plasticky because it was plastic. Look at this, so realistic. And the eggs, amazing. Some of the food even um, tries to feed you itself. Look at this uh, bowl of noodles. Here's Chaminda. He was our host in, uh, in Japan. Thank you very much, Chamin. Japan is one of those places which actually looks like you expect it to. It's very pretty. Uh, when we went outside, we were amazed. We asked for the nearest 7-Eleven and was uh, sent to this place. Wow, that's a 7-Eleven? Amazing. And look at the gateway. Perhaps it wasn't a 7-Eleven. It had Buddha's shoes on the outside. Big feet that guy had. Then we got on the bullet train and went up north. And um, look at these gorgeous little tiny houses where people actually live. Uh, our real purpose for going to Japan was to show the kids snow. They'd never seen snow. They'd lived all their lives without uh, seeing it. So we told them they could just touch the stuff and then we'd come home because it soon gets very cold and miserable. So they did touch it and they did their traditional things like uh, you know throwing snowballs and, and that sort of thing. I'm not sure if that's actually illegal in Japan or not. Possibly. There's Lexi. Lexi's saying, hey, I'm going to try and break the stuff. Watch this, Dad. Watch this. And... Yeah, she's broken the snow. Wow, that's probably illegal, isn't it? The snow got deeper and deeper and deeper. Look at this. In places, it was uh, it was bigger than a kid. But, um, well, the kids were undaunted, of course. Fearless. Look how deep it is, she says. And she heads on. There were other dangers as well, like the icicles, which threatened to drop on your head. And, and people throwing vast amounts of snow off the rooftops. What a cool job that must be. Uh, just just being there, being able to drop that stuff on passers-by. It actually started to snow a bit later, which was great, so the kids could actually uh, take a, a, a look at the, the miracle stuff. And um, they even tried to catch it with their tongues. Uh, I told them, mm, not wise, not wise, before checking that all the birds have flown south for the, for the winter. We saw the dark side of it as well, which is that snow does get cold and slushy after a while. And um, uh, here it is getting very, very blizzardy uh, towards the evening. We decided we needed to warm up. So the next day we headed to the onsen, which is a natural hot water spring. Hmm, what a perfect way to end a trip to Japan.